by Bob Sundick, the 1951 graduate of Cornell. Wagner and Peterson step in the center circle. Wheatland in the white uniform. Calumet in purple. The ball is up, and here's the tip. And they're going to make him jump again. So uh, we'll wait a little bit longer for the start of this game. Here's the tip, and it's taken by Van Pelt of Wheatland. The ball goes out of bounds. Touched by Calumet, and so Van Pelt flips to Ellis. Larry Ellis, 6-2 forward, number 23, works off the left side. Out front to Van Pelt. Down the right side to Maury. Maury to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Maury. Maury uh, flips back out to Van Pelt. Van Pelt loses the ball, and it's uh, scooped up by uh, Darrell Rader. Rader to Dow. Dow moves down. Long pass left side. It's taken. Flips back to Darrell Rader along such shot. Good. And Calumet, the defending champions in Class B lead by a score of 2-0. Van Pelt moving across the timeline now for the Wheatland Wildcats. Down the right side to Whitty. Maury working around the right side. Jump shot by Maury. Misses. Taken off the board by Delmer Dow. Dow moving down very fast. Keeps going. Loses the ball momentarily and recovers on the sideline. Delmer Dow a jump shot. He hits it and Calumet leads four to nothing. Ellis flips to Van Pelt. Back to Ellis. Calumet leading 4 0. Alice off the left side, out front to Van Pelt. A whistle on the play, and a foul called on Wagner, number 43. So on the free throw line will be Art Peterson for Wheatland. The chance to put the Wildcats in the scoring column. They trail, trail 4 0. Art Peterson, Husky Blonde. Free throw is up, and it is missed off the board, taken by Calumet. Working down the right side, the Indians in possession now. A long jump shot is no good by Odom. It's tipped over and taken by uh, Bob Rader. Rader goes to the right of the circle, flips off to Odom. Odom uh, underneath the hook shot by Wagner. Good. And Calumet jumps off to a 6 nothing lead here in the first quarter. Gary Van Pelt for Wheatland now. Right side to Maury in the corner to Whitty. Shoots out of the corner. He misses off the board, and it is taken. Who's going to get it? Van Pelt comes up, flips, uh, tips over by Wagner, take by Raider to Bob Raider, moving down the middle very fast. Bounce pass, tipped around. Dow shoots, but he stepped over the end line, and so it's played by Alice of Wheatland. Flips to Van Pelt. 6 0, Calumet leading, and we have a timeout taken by Wheatland. The score Calumet 6 and Wheatland nothing. Well, the Indians from Calumet jumping off to a six-point lead, the defending champions in Class B. They won 23 and lost three throughout the regular season. We'll see fourth trip to the finals for both the coach and the team. They were here previously in 57, 58, and 59. Of course, Delmer Dow is the top scorer after the first uh, 23 games. Delmer Dow has uh, scored 161 points in three previous state meets, not counting the points that he had not last night. And last night he broke the Class B scoring total of 165. The ball will be put in play by Alice for Wheatland at midcourt. Wheatland trailing 6 0. Van Pelt down left hand corner to Whitty. Flips back to Van Pelt out front to Maury. Maury to Alice. Alice a jump shot on the right side off the mark comes off and uh, a whistle and uh, it's going to be a jump ball. Dow jumping with uh, Maori on the Wheatland free throw line. Tipped over and uh, scrambled for and uh, picked up by Maori. Gives back to Whitty. Whitty to Alice. Alice in the corner to Whitty. Whitty to Alice. Passes underneath to Peterson, a spin around shot in there, and it's a 6 2 ball game. Bob Rader to Delmer Dow. Dow moves down from the circle on the left side to Darrell Rader to Dow. Right to Bob Rader in the corner to Odom. Odom out front to Dow. Passes underneath to Darrell Rader. Lose the ball out of bounds and be played to Wheatland. Alice flips to Van Pelt. 6 2 Calumet leading here in the first quarter. Van Pelt off the right side to Maori. To Van Pelt working around the zone defense. A long jumper by Alice. Rings the bell and it's 6 4. 
Calumet six, Wheatland four for the B championship. Now, down the left side to Raider. The corner to Odom to Darrell Raider. A pass intercepted by Alice of Wheatland, number 23. 4.43 left to play in the first quarter. Alice to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to off the left side to Alice in the corner to Witty. Witty to Alice. Alice out front to Van Pelt. Takes a jump shot. In and out. Comes off and uh, yep. Let's see. Did Witty save it? No. He stepped over the line and so it played Bedow. Calumet to Bob Raider. 6-4. Calumet leading. Dow goes to the right of the circle. On the right hand corner to Odom. Shoots out of the corner. And misses. Comes off the board to Witty of Wheatland. Gives off to Alice. So they move down the floor now, trailing 6 4 here in the first quarter of play. Van Pelt to Peterson, the high post off the right side to Maori. Maori out to Peterson, a jump shot by Peterson. No good. Comes off the board and taken by Darrell Raider. Raider uh, moves in front court. Flips to Wagner. Wagner to Dow, a shot on the left side is in and out. Or did it go in? And it's eight to four. Couldn't tell for a minute whether that one hit or not. Alice out front to Van Pelt to Maori. Maori to Witty to ride the basket to Van Pelt. Jump shot by Van Pelt. No good. Comes off to uh, who's going to get it. Tipped inbounds and uh, now it's going to be a jump ball. <laughs> so they'll jump on the center circle. Daryl Raider and uh, Witty tipped over and taken by Alice of Wheatland. 8-4 Calumet leading. Alice on the left side line out front to Van Pelt to Peterson. Shot from the keyhole. Misses. Comes off the board and uh, Maori follows but there's a whistle on the play and a foul called on Delmer Down on the 45. 8-4 Calumet leading. 3-9 left to play in the first quarter. Wayne Maury in the free throw line. He misses it, taken off, and uh, Maury gets rebound, shoots, and misses. It goes out of bounds and be played by Wheatland. Maury to put the ball in play. Right-hand corner to Van Pelt. Van Pelt out to Witte, takes a jump shot, partially blocked, comes off the board to Wagner of Calumet to Odom. Odom uh, moving very fast. They don't waste any time. Out to uh, Dow. Dow, a jump shot in front of Keyhole. Misses, comes off, and uh, a whistle on the play. It's out of bounds. Wheatland's ball. 8 4, Calumet leading. We're in the first quarter of the uh, championship game in Class B. Van Pelt down the left side to Alice. Alice to Van Pelt to Peterson, tipped away, and uh, who's going to get it? Peterson finally gets returned. Alice, a jump shot by Alice, switch. And it's an 8-6 to six ball game. Uh, Calumet leading by two. Dow moves the front court on the right side. Flips the uh, pass intercepted by Witte to Van Pelt. Leading pass to Witte. Goes in under for the layup. And it's two point. And it's tied up 8-8. Eight to eight. Wheatland and Calumet. And this should be a good one. Dow in the front court for the Indians. Down the left side. On the right to Bob Raider. To Dow. Pass intercepted by Van Pelt. Van Pelt slows up. Gives to Alice. Alice uh, slows up now as he moves the front court. It's all tied up eight to eight. A minute 40 left to play in the uh, first quarter. This is the championship game. Van Pelt to uh, Maori to Alice. A long jump shot. Misses. Comes off the board and is taken by Darrell Raider. Moving down very fast. Passes off or shoots. Misses. Comes off the board and is taken by Dow. He loses the ball out of bounds. A nice attempt by Dow to save it over there. So it's played by Alice. Alice gives to Van Pelt. Tied up 8-8 eight, eight in the first quarter. High pass to Peterson. Back to Van Pelt. To Alice in the corner to Witte. Witte to Alice. To Van Pelt. Working around the zone defense. To Peterson. The jump shot in front. Misses but a whistle on the play. And a foul called on Ronnie Wagner. Number 43. That's his second. And the third against Calumet in the first half. Art Peterson on the free throw line for Wheatland. Shooting two. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Free throw uh, in there. And Wheatland leads 9-8. The first lead that the uh, Wildcats have enjoyed in the ballgame. 
Second free throw is in there. Good. And it's a 10 to 8 ball game. Wheatland leading by two. Elmer Dow moves the front court down the left side to Darrell Rader. Out front to Dow. Off the right side to Bob Rader. Bob Rader, a jump shot. Misses. Comes off the board. And let's see what it is. Foul called on Odom, number 21. That's his first, the fourth against Calumet. Wheatland leading 10-8. On the free throw line will be Larry Allen. He'll shoot uh, one shot. Free throw uh, is good, makes it 11-8. Wheatland uh, leading Calumet by three. Bob Rader, long pass down the right side to Odom. Odom uh, passed, intercepted by Van Pelt. Gives off to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Van Pelt uh, moving slowly down the left side to Alice. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. 11-8, Wheatland leading. Van Pelt to Alice. They're going to wait and take uh, one shot, evidently. Alice off the left sideline. Into Peterson, back to Alice. To Peterson. Jump shot in front is no good. Comes off. Maori, the witty fouls and hit. And there was a whistle on the play. A foul on Wagner. That's the third foul on Ronnie Wagner. And uh, on the free throw line is Larry Witte. Wheatland leading 13 8. And he'll have a chance to make it to 14. He'll get just one shot. He was fouled and made the basket. He's got it, and it's 14 8. Wheatland leading Calumet. Odom palms the basketball, and uh, so it would be put in play by Wheatland, but there's the buzzer ending the first quarter. It is Wheatland 14 and Calumet 8. And we'll return to the Boys State High School basketball tournament to uh, telecast the University of Iowa Fieldhouse in Iowa City after this message. tip we had a foul on Bob Rader and Alice will be on the free throw line that's Rader's first foul the fifth against Calumet so Alice will be shooting the one and one he has the first one makes it 15 to 8 Calumet went uh, three minutes and five seconds without scoring in the last part of the first quarter Dick uh, just pointed out Alice ready for the bonus shot he misses that one. It's taken off the board by Dow. 15-8. Wheatland leading. Dow uh, dribbling off left side to Darrell Rader. To Dow on the right to Bob Rader. Working around that defense. To Dow. A jump shot in the keyhole. Good. And a 15-10 as Delmer Dow hits on that jumper from the keyhole. Wheatland leading as Ellis moves the ball now for the Wildcats. Just starting the second quarter. In the left-hand corner to Witte. Witte to Alice, to Van Pelt, to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Out to Alice. Alice on a long jump shot. Misses off the board and taken by Odom of Calumet to Dow. Dow down the right side to Bob Rader. And the whistle on the play. A foul called on Alice, number 23. That's his first. And the first against Wheatland. So Bob Rader will be shooting uh, one shot. 15-10, Wheatland leading. The free throw uh, hesitates and drops in, so it's 15 to 11. University of Iowa Fieldhouse will be packed to capacity tonight. Van Pelt down the right side to Maori in the corner to Witte. Witte to Maori to Witte. Working around the right side of his own defense, back on the left to Alice, to Van Pelt. In the corner to Witte, shoots out of the corner. Short, comes off, taken by Witte. Shoots him underneath and hits it. Witte hits him underneath, and it's 17-11. Wheatland uh, leading Calumet. Dow, down the left side to uh, Darrell Rader. In the corner to Odom, drives the baseline up, and ooh, in and out. 
That was a close one. And it's a jump ball. 17-11. Wheatland leading Calumet. 6-28 left to play in the first half. Wagner jumping with Peterson on the Calumet free throw line. Tip taken by Dow. Pass off. A layup. Odom is good. And it's 17-13. Hollis. Slips to uh, Van Pelt. Van Pelt. High pass to Peterson. Tipped back and taken by Van Pelt. On the left side, Alice. Almost lose the ball. Flips to Van Pelt. Van Pelt in the right-hand corner to Witte. Witte to Van Pelt. Takes a long jump shot. Good. Van Pelt hits. And it's 19-13. Uh, Wheatland leading Calumet. Dow down the middle. Goes right of the circle. A jump shot by Dow is good. And it's 19-15. Wheatland leading Calumet. 5.45 left to play in the first half of the ball game as Larry Ellis moves the front court for the Wildcats from Wheatland. Left side to Witte, to Ellis, out front to Van Pelt, to Ellis. Working around the 2-3 uh, zone defense, Ellis. Out in front of Keyhole, on the right side to Mowry. Out to Ellis. To Peterson, a jump shot from Keyhole. In and out, comes off the board and is taken by uh, Darrell Raider. Two on one fast break. Goes in for the shot. Misses it. Follow in. Is no good. Rebound is taken by Darrell Rader. And back, back to Dow. Dow on that jumper. It misses. Comes off the board and is taken by Maori of Wheatland. He holds up and uh, gives Peterson to Van Pelt. 19-15. Wheatland leading by four here in the second quarter. On the right to Maori. Maori to Witte. To Maori. To Witte. Just working around the uh, right side, then move off the left side to Ellis. Ellis out in front of the keyhole to Peterson, the jump shot in the keyhole, in there, and it's 21 15. Wheatland leading Calumet. And uh, Calumet takes timeout. It is Wheatland 21 and Calumet 15. Wheatland from Clinton County, and of course Calumet from O'Brien County. This is the second trip to the finals for Wheatland. We're here in 54, and uh, of course this year. This is the first trip for the coach, Bob Sendick. The Wildcats won the cross-country basketball conference this year and did not participate in the county tournament. The leading scorer for Wheatland is Larry Ellis with 420 points and uh, Art Moose Peterson. Peterson, a big guy, 6'4 and weighs 210. So ready to play uh, basketball. Ball be put in play at midcourt by Calumet. Bobby Rader, number 11. Wheatland leading, 21-15. Flips to Dow. Dow down the left side to Darrell Rader to Odom. Odom to Dow. Pass intercepted by Witte. Intended for Wagner. He gives to Van Pelt. So the Wildcats are on the prowl. Down the right side to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Alice. Alice to moves off left side. Shoots from the left side. Misses. A foul in by Witte. It's good. Witte follows from underneath. And it's 23-15. Wheatland uh, leading Calumet. Bob Rader moves the front court. Down the corner to Odom, back to Raider, jumper by Bob Raider. Misses, comes off the board to Van Pelt. Van Pelt uh, gets out of the trouble there and then uh, gives back, and then Ellis takes it for the Wildcats, uh, leading 23-15. 3.45 left to play in the first half. Ellis on the left sideline to Peterson. Drives around, uh, shoots from the right side, and misses, comes off the board, and uh, coming out there with it is uh, Darrell Raider for the Indians from Calumet. Left the lane. Gives off to Dow. There's that jumper by Delmer Dow, and he missed it. Comes off to Maori of Wheatland to Van Pelt. Van Pelt flips across to Alice. Wheatland leading 23 15. We're in the uh, second quarter. Down the left side to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Van Pelt moves all the way around the right of the lane. Shoots from the right side and hits it. And it's 25-15, and Wheatland has taken a 10-point lead here over the defending champion, Calumet. Down the right side to Odom, shoots, and it's no good. Rebound taken by Darrell Raider. Back to Dow, who shoots and misses. Comes off this time to Van Pelt. Van Pelt flips to Maori. 
Ben Pelt uh, moving in the front court to Alice. Alice holds up there against that uh, zone defense. Alice from left side to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt moves off the right side. Jump shoots from the right side. It uh, misses. Getting rebound is Dow. Down the right side, uh, going into the layup is Odom. He misses. Comes off the board, and it's going to be a jump ball. 220 left to play in the uh, first half. It's Wheatland 25 and Calumet 15. Van Pelt and uh, Raider jumping. Bob Raider on the uh, Calumet free throw line. Tipped over and uh, taken by Whitty of Wheatland. Gives to Van Pelt. 25 15. Wheatland leading to Alice. Alice to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Whitty. Whitty moves around for the right shot from the right side and a foul called on Dow. That's uh, Dow's second foul. Whitty will be on the free throw line for Wheatland. Shooting the one and one. The shot is up and he misses it. Taken off the board. Maori shoots from underneath and another foul called and I believe it's on Widener. That's right. And according to our scoring, that is number four. And Maori will be shooting uh, two shots. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The first one is up. Misses. 25-15. Wheatland leading. Wayne Maori getting ready for his second free throw. This one is up. It is no good. Taken off by Peterson. Shoots and hits. Art Peterson uh, follows from the left side. 27-15. Wheatland the leading Calumet. Bob Raider on the right side. Odom to Raider to Dow. Dow to Darrell Raider. A shot is good from the left side. But Darrell Raider is quick. He's seven for Wheatland. And 15 for Calumet. Alice in the uh, front court. Down the left side to Maori. Maori to Alice in the left hand corner. Flips back to Van Pelt. Van Pelt moves around the right side. Takes a jump shot. Hits it. And it's 27 to 17. I believe the score is they're having trouble with the scoreboard. Darrell Raider out to Dow. 29 17 the score to Odom. Pass the left side to Dow for a jump shot. Misses off the board. There's a scramble for it, and Alice comes out of there with it for Wheatland. 29-17, the Wildcats lead. And we have one minute left to play in the first half of this uh, Class B championship game. Alice uh, moves the offensive zone to uh, Van Pelt, moves off the left side. They work that ball around very methodically until they get the shot they want. Alice goes in and under, misses. A follow in is no good, and a foul call. We have a substitution coming in the county met lineup. Number 33, Freed, coming in the county met lineup. We have a timeout taken. It is Wheatland 29, county met 17. It is Wheatland 29 and county met 17. Free throw line will be Larry Whitty, number 44. Shooting two shots. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First shot is up and good. Makes it 30 to 17. Wheatland leading Calumet. Whitty getting ready for his second shot. This one is up and short. Tipped and taken by Maury, who shoots and hits. And it's Wheatland 32, Calumet 17. Bob Raider moves down the right side for the Indians to Dow, a jump shot by Dow. He hit, or Odom rather, hit. Number 21, and it's 32 19. The high pass to Whitty. Whitty holds up there to Maori. Maori out front to Van Pelt. 11 seconds left. 
past Ellis. Ellis underneath Whitty for the layup. He got it. And it's 34 19. Calumet uh, trailing Wheatland. Bob Raider moving down the floor. And that is the end of the first half. It is Wheatland 34 and Calumet 19. Well, we'll return to the Boys State High School basketball tournament telecast from the University of Iowa Fieldhouse in Iowa City after this message. Take the floor, and we're all set to go. Odom and Peterson step in the center circle. Wheatland leading 34-19. The tip is controlled by Van Pelt of Wheatland. Bounce pass to Alice. Alice is fouled immediately by Darrell Rader, number 35. So Larry Alice will be on the uh, free throw line, a very fine player for Wheatland. Second foul against uh, Darrell Rader. Alice will be shooting one shot. His free throw makes it 35-19. Wheatland leading Calumet. Bob Rader in the front court. The right side to Freed. The left to Daryl Rader. A push shot is the board. And uh, scramble for it. And they're going to uh, call it a jump ball. Just starting the second half of this championship game. Daryl Rader and Van Pelt jumping. Tip is over and uh, taken by Delmer Dow. He is fouled by Ellis, number 23. That's his second. And Dow will be on the free throw line for the Indians from County Met. Dow will be shooting uh, one shot. His free throw short, taken off by Darrell Rader, shoots and misses. This time it's rebounded by Van Pelt of Wheatland. To Alice. Alice to Van Pelt. Van Pelt moving in the front court. High pass under to Peterson. Peterson is tied up there by Odom, and they'll jump on the Wheatland free throw line. 35-19, Wheatland leading. Tip is over and taken by Alice underneath, shoots and misses, goes out of bounds, and it, it'll be a jump ball. Van Pelt jumping with Dow on the Wheatland free throw line. Tipped over and uh, taken by Odom. Odom uh, moving down, shoots on the run, misses, follow in, misses, rebound is taken by Maori. Maori uh, covered there, lose the ball, and Odom is wide open for the two point. 35 21. Daryl Dow, I should have said. Van Pelt with the ball to Witte. Calumet using a full court press now. Witte driving all the way down. Flips back to Van Pelt. Jump shot on the right side. Misses, comes off the board, and Maori follows him in front and misses. And a foul called on Maori, number 54. 35 21. Wheatland leading. That's his first with 6.46 left to play in the uh, third quarter. That's the second foul against Wheatland here in the third period. Free to be on the free throw line for Calumet. He'll shoot one shot. It's up, and it's in there. 35-22. Wheatland uh, leading Calumet. Calumet now in a full court press. Pass to Alice. Alice to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Maori. And a foul called on Freed, number 33. That's his first and the second against Calumet here in the third period. So uh, Wayne Maury will be on the free throw line shooting one shot for Wheatland. His free throw is a miss taken off the board by Odom. It failed to touch the rim and so Calumet puts it in play on the side. Bob Rader. Moves in the front court, right side to Freed, to Dow. Dow uh, to Freed, takes a long push shot. Good. Freed hits, and it's 35 to 24. Alice to Van Pelt. Bounce pass intercepted by Odom, a pass underneath to Daryl Freed, shoots and hits. And it's 35 27 as this fourth court press is bothering Wheatland. 
Ellis to Van Pelt in the backcourt. Still has the ball to Ellis. Ellis uh, moving the offensive zone now for Wheatland. 35 26. Wheatland leading. Ellis in the right hand corner flips back to Van Pelt. Van Pelt uh, with the ball gives off to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Underneath to Maori for the layup. And it's in there. And it's 37 26. And a foul called. On Freed, I believe. That's his second. The third against Calumet, and Maori will be shooting one shot. His free throw uh, makes it 38 to 26. Wheatland leading. Dow gives to uh, Rob uh, Raider. Right side to Freed. Takes long one hand push. Misses. Comes off the board to Odom. Shoot. And misses. Comes off to Peterson. Peterson gives to Alice. Alice. Uh, Moving in the front court. Down left side, a pass tipped around but taken by Maori. Maori to Alice. Alice uh, for Wheatland in control of basketball. To Maori. Maori to Alice. Alice, the jump shot on the left side is missed. Peterson follows and missed. Rebound is taken by Dow. Dow moving down the left side very fast. Jump shot by Dow. Short comes off to Peterson. Peterson loses the ball momentarily, but Witty gets it. Witty driving down, shoots him in front, and misses. Comes off the board, and it's going to be a jump ball. 4.58 left to play in the uh, third quarter. Wheatland leading by a score of 38-26. Van Pelt jumping with Freed on the uh, Wheatland free throw line. Tipped over and taken by Odom. Odom moving down all the way for the layup. Two points for Kelly Metz. And it's now 38-28. Pass to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Ellis. Alice to Van Pelt. Van Pelt just comes over the timeline, moves down the right side, and steps over the sideline. Out of bounds, he's going to be played to Calumet. Raider down the right side to Dow, shoots out of the right hand corner, misses, comes off the board to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Witty. Witty moves in the front court now. Cross court pass to Ellis. Ellis down the left side to Maori. Back out to Ellis. And the Wheatland Wildcats slow it up. To Peterson. Comes out to help out. Back to Ellis. Ellis pass into the hands of Freed. Freed driving down the middle for Calumet. Passes off the right side to Raider. Raider to Freed. A jump shot by Freed. Short comes off the board to Bob Raider. Bob Raider shoots him in front and hits. And it's 38 to 30 as the Indians come roaring back here. So we have a timeout taken by Calumet. It is Wheatland 38 and Calumet 30. Well, the Indians from Calumet have come out here in the uh, second half with a full court press, and it has uh, bothered the Wildcats from Wheatland. And they've outscored the Wildcats 11 to 4 here in the uh, third quarter. And we have three minutes and 43 left to play in the third period. And it's Wheatland at 38 and uh, Calumet 30. We have a message now for East Waterloo Land. East Waterloo Land. Bob Sendick uh, talking things over with the Wildcats from Wheatland and Ray Nauer doing likewise with the Indians from Calumet, the defending B champion. be put in play by Wheatland in the backcourt. Alice with the ball. Pass to Witty. Witty to Van Pelt. Lose the ball to Odom. Starts to drive down. He loses it to Van Pelt and a foul called on Odom. Number 21. That's his uh, second foul. The fourth against Calumet here in the third period. And uh, Gary Van Pelt will be on the free throw line for Wheatland shooting one shot. His free throw is in there and it's 39-30. Wheatland uh, leading by nine. Bob Raider moves in the front court now for the Indians off the left side to Daryl Raider. In the corner to Dow, shoots out of the corner and misses. Comes off the board to Daryl Raider. 
and he is fouled by Maori. 3.23 left to play in the third period. That's the second foul uh, against Maori, the fourth against Wheatland. And Darrell Rader will be on the free throw line for the Indians from Calumet. Darrell Rader shooting uh, one shot. He uh, has it, and it's 39 31. Calumet pressing all over the floor now. There's a pass to Ellis. Ellis uh, to Van Pelt. Van Pelt uh, moving off the right side. Flips back to Ellis. Ellis across the timeline. Lose the ball and going into the layup is Bob Rader. And it's two more points. And it's 39 to 33. And this full court press is really causing Wheatland trouble. Maori to Van Pelt. Moving in the front court. And he is fouled by Darrell Rader. 2.55 left to play in the third quarter. And on the free throw line will be Van Pelt. That's the third foul against Rader, the fifth against uh, Calumet. So Van Pelt will shoot the one and one. Free throw uh, short, taken off the board by Maori. Shoots him in front, misses. This time it's taken by Dow of Calumet. Moving down. Pass the right side to Freed. A jump shot by Freed is missed. Comes off the board and uh, taken by Alice. Flips to Witty. And Witty is fouled by Daryl Rader. That's the fourth foul called against Rader. 2.42 left to play in the third quarter. Sweetman leading 39-33. On the free throw line will be Larry Witty, number 44. For the Wildcats from Wheatland. Woody's free throw uh, misses. Follow, attempted follow in goes out of bounds and it'll be played by uh, Wheatland. Maori to put the ball in play. Maori flips out to Witty. Witty in the corner to Van Pelt. Shoots out of the corner and hits. And it's 41 to 33. Wheatland uh, leading Calumet. Bobby Rader moves the front court. On the left side to Daryl Rader to uh, Dow. Dow jump shot is missed. Comes off the board and it's going to be a jump ball. 41-33 and we have a substitution coming in the Calumet lineup. Dan Dow replacing Daryl Rader. The tip is over and uh, taken by Bob Rader. Top of the circle. Moves off to Dan Dow to Rader. Raider off the left side to Freed. Shoots from the left side and misses. Comes off the board to Witty. Witty gives off to Peterson to Alice. Alice has the ball tipped out of his hand. Taken by Dow. Goes in for a shot and makes it. And Dow took that ball and went in there. And it's 41-35. Alice to Maori to Witty. Witty moves down. Pass underneath to Peterson. Wide open for the layup. He makes it. And it's 43-35. Wheatland leading. Dan Dow moves in the offensive zone, flips out to Bob Rader on the left side to Freed in the corner to Delmer Dow. Dow to Freed, out front to Bob Rader, one hand push shot. He's got it. And it's 43 37. Wheatland uh, leading the Indians of Calumet. Van Pelt to Maori. Maori moving in the front court very fast. Flips back to Alice. Alice to ride the basket. Out to Van Pelt. Van Pelt, the right of the circle, gives off to Alice. A minute 10 left in the third quarter. Van Pelt with the ball. Down the left side to Maori. Maori to Witty. Drives in a jump shot, but Witty is good. Witty hits him in front, and it's 45 37. Wheatland uh, leading Calumet. Dan Dow to the right of the circle, gives to Freed. Freed to Dan Dow to Bob Rader. One hand push shot is missed. Comes off the board and taken by Ellis. He is tied up by Freed, and they'll jump on the uh, Calumet free throw line. Tip is over and uh, taken by Witty of Wheatland. To Van Pelt. Calumet still in that full court press. Van Pelt moving the front court. And a foul called here. Blocking against Freed, number 33. And on the free throw line will be Van Pelt. That's the third foul on Freed. 45-37. Wheatland leading. Van Pelt will be shooting the one and one. 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter.
Then Phelps free throws up and it's good. Makes it 46 37. Fieldhouse packed to capacity tonight for these two championship games. Van Pelt ready for the bonus shot. This one is missed, taken off the board by uh, Freed. Freed uh, to Dow. Dow drives all the way in for the shot, misses, but he is fouled by Whitty. Number 44. 32 seconds left to play in the uh, third quarter. That's the first foul against Whitty, the fourth against Wheatland. It's 46 37. Dow will shoot two shots. Free throw uh, is good, makes it 46 to 38. Now can now make it to 39 by making the second shot. And he's got it, 46 39. Van Pelt will put the ball in play. Bounce pass to Alice to Van Pelt. Van Pelt moving in the front court and runs with the basketball. So it'll be played by Dan Dow down the right side to Odom. Odom uh, almost moves the ball, but recovers in the corner to Delmer Dow. Underneath, right into the hands of Maui. A bootman gives off to Whitty. Back to Van Pelt. To Alice. To Van Pelt. Van Pelt to uh, a high pass. Ooh, there's a collision. Let's hope no one was hurt. Maui and Delmer Dow. A foul called against Dow. Number 45, and Maui will be on the free throw line. For Wheatland. Seven seconds left to play in the third quarter. That's the third foul on Delmer Dow. Maury shooting the one and one. Free throws up. Misses. Takes off and taken by uh, Bob Raider. Raider moving down the left side. Puts back to Odom. A long set shot short as the buzzer sounds ending the third quarter. It is Wheatland, 46, and Calumet. 39. We'll return to the Boys State High School basketball tournament telecast from the University of Iowa Fieldhouse in Iowa City after this message. They're ready to go for the fourth quarter. The tip is over and uh, taken by Witty. Witty moves in the uh, front court. Whitty gets the ball on top of the circle, flips the left side to Alice. Alice, a jump shot on the right side. Good. And a 48-39. Quitland leading. Now on the left side is Dow. A jump shot on the left side is no good. Comes off and tied up, and it's going to be a jump ball. Jumping Odom and Peterson on the Calumet free throw line. Tipped over and uh, taken by Bob Raider. Jump shot in the keyhole. Misses. Comes off the board to Dow. Shoots. Misses. Rebound taken by Dow. Who shoots again and misses. Right underneath the shot is good by Bob Raider. Bobby Raider hits in a 48 to 41. We're in the fourth quarter. Alice for Wheatland down the backcourt to Van Pelt. Van Pelt down the left side to Peterson. Peterson almost loses the ball out front to Van Pelt. Van Pelt to Witty. Witty drives around, goes in under for the shot, misses, but a foul call on Odom, number 21. Fourth foul on Odom. Number 21. I think we have a mix up in numbers here for Calumet. Dow, Dan Dow is listed as 15. They're, according to the public address, he should be uh, 13, 33. Free throw is good by Witty. Dan Dow is listed as uh, 15, but uh, we've been informed that he's number 33, so evidently they switch numbers. The second free throw misses. Uh, he and Freed. Bob Raider across to uh, Freed. Long set shot by Dow is missed. Comes off the board and taken by Delmer Dow. Out to in front of the defense. Dow to Odom, a jump shot in front, misses. Comes off the board and taken by Maury. Maury to Van Pelt, to Alice. Alice moving down for the layup, and he hits it. And it is 51 to 41, Wheatland uh, leading. Down on top of the circle, dribbling off the left side. Jumps and shoots from the left side and misses. Following the Bob Raider misses. Rebound is taken by uh, Odom in the right-hand corner for Calumet. Flips out front to Bob Raider. Bob Raider goes in under for the shot. A whistle on the play. 
And a foul called on Alice. That's his second. 51 41. Wheatland leading with 6 18 left to play in the ball game. Bob Rader will shoot the one and one. Free throw, uh, good. 51 to 42. Number 35, Errol Rader, replacing Sam Dow for I guess the numbers are incorrect that we have Rader, Daryl Rader, replacing Dan Dow. Bob Rader's free throw is up and good. Makes it 51 to 43. Wheatland leading Calumet. Alice in the backcourt for the Wheatland Wildcats. Lifts the pass to Maori down the left side to Peterson. Peterson flips back to Alice. Alice uh, holds up there to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt shoots from the left side, hits it. Van Pelt hits from the left side and 53 43. All right, moving the front court is uh, Freed. Freed flips out to Bob Rader. On the left to Daryl Rader. A push shot is missed. Comes off the board and is taken by Maori. Maori almost loses the ball but gets it in the corner. Long pass down here to Alice. Alice uh, holds up, waits for the rest of them to catch up. Flips back to Van Pelt. Long pass underneath to Peterson. Tipped out of his hands and taken by Dow. He loses the ball to Witty. Witty. Holds up in front of the circle to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Off the right side to Ellis. 5.20 left to play. Ellis starts his drive in and a whistle on the play. Foul on number 15, Dennis Freed. The numbers are not the same as on the program. Freed and Dan Dower switched, and that's the reason we were in error. Free throw is missed and a foul called on Peterson, number 31. That's his first foul of the ball game. So Dennis Freed is number 15 and Dan Dow is number 33. 53-43, Wheatland leading Calumet here in the championship game. And Odom will be on the free throw line shooting the one and one. 5-19 left to play in the ball game. Free throw is uh, good, makes it 53 to 44. So uh, Odom can now make it to 45 by sinking the bonus shot. It's up, and he does. 53 45, Wheatland leading. Van Pelt to Alice. Alice to Maori to Van Pelt, moves in the front court. Flips back out to Alice. Alice to Van Pelt. Moves off the right side on the dribble. Flips out front to uh, Alice. Alice uh, moves down the left side. And a foul called on uh, Dennis Freed, number 15. And Lori Alice will be on the free throw line. That's Freed's second foul. Five minutes and one second left to play. Alice will be shooting the one and one. 53-45. Wheatland out in front. Free throw is good by Alice. Makes it 54-45. to Alice can now make it uh, 55. It's up, and he fails. Taken off the board by Delmer Dow. Dow down the right side to Freed. Freed to jump shot on the run. Misses off the board, goes out of bounds. It'll be played by uh, Freed. Underneath the Dow, shoots him underneath, but a foul called on Alice. Number 23 and Delmer Dow will be on the free throw line with 4.46 left to play. Wheatland leading by a score of 54 to 45. And we have a timeout taken by Wheatland with the score Wheatland 54, Calumet 45. On the free throw line will be Delmer Dow. Now shooting two shots, he was fouled in the act of shooting. First one is up, and it's good, 54-46. So they'll have a chance now to make it a seven-point margin. The second one is up, and it is no good. Taken off by Maori. Maori hooks off to Witty. Witty moving in the front court for Wheatland. Drives in to the right of the basket. 
doesn't shoot clips it out here to Maori to Alice Alice moves off the left side to Peterson a jump shot blocked by Dow and taken by Daryl Raider Raider clips out front to uh, Freed Freed to uh, Bob Raider to Freed to Bob Raider on the left to Daryl Raider a jump shot by Dow is missed following is no good a following is no good another one is no good and uh, comes off the board and good by Bobby Raider and this is a 54 48 ball game. Van Pelt a pass intercepted by Freed underneath wide open Daryl Raider shoots and misses comes off the board and is taken by Alice and a foul is called on uh, Alice for charging. Three minutes and 55 seconds left to play in the ball game and we have uh, a substitution coming in the Wheatland lineup. Bodecker coming in the uh, Wheatland lineup. For uh, Alice, the free throw is good by Daryl Raider. Fifty-four forty-nine, and it's fifty-four forty-nine. As he missed the following shot, is no good. Comes off the board and is taken by Maori. Maori, long pass down here to Whitty in the front court. It is flipped inbound, but uh, not in time, and so it'll be played by Odom. Odom to Bob Raider. Raider uh, out in front of the top keyhole, and uh, Calumet calls timeout. Three thirty-seven left to play. It's Wheatland fifty-four, Calumet forty-nine. will be put in play by Calumet. Bob Raider to Dow. Dow uh, moves up there across to Bob Raider in the corner to Daryl Raider. A shot out of the corner and he's got it. And it's 54 to 51. All right there's a pass to Maori. Maori to Van Pelt. Down the left side to Peterson. Peterson to Witt. Dow intercepted by Dow. Dow moving all the way down. He drives in, shoots, and hits. And it's a 54-53 ball game as the Indians have come roaring back here. A pass to Maori in the back court. Stops there, gets a pass to Van Pelt. Van Pelt still in the back court, moving in the offensive zone. And let's see what they call it. Maybe County Met's ball. There's a pass to Dow. 2-53. Still left to play in the ball game. To Bob Raider. To Dow. Long jumper by Dow. Misses off the board. And there's a scramble for it, and it's going to be a jump ball. 54 to 53, Wheatland leading Calumet by one point. And we have a timeout taken by Calumet. It is Wheatland 54, Calumet 53. It'll be a jump ball on the uh, free throw line of Calumet. Odom will be jumping. Uh, with Witty. Tip is over and uh, taken by Van Pelt. Going down and in under for the shot and hitting it. Just came in the uh, Waitman lineup is uh, Bodecker. Bodecker hits. Dow moving down. Shoots him in front and misses. Comes off the board to Dow. Dow pass taken by Daryl Raider. Jump shot is good. And it's 56 to 55 with two minutes and 20 seconds left to play. Bodecker to Van Pelt. I think he held the ball too long. That's right. So Bob Raider will put the ball in play. Bob Raider slips out front to Delmer Dow on the left side to Freed. Freed to Dow. Dow uh, holds it there. Moves off left side to Bob Raider in the corner to Darrell Raider who shoots. Oh, in and out. Comes off the board and is taken by Peterson. Peterson to Van Pelt. Long pass down. Bodecker leaves the ball out of bounds. That will be played by Calumet. Bob Raider moving in the front court. A minute 45 left to play. This is the championship game for Class B. Down the left side to Daryl Raider. Out front to Bob. Out to uh, Delmer Dow. Under to Odom. A jump shot in front. Misses. Comes off the board to Peterson. Gives to Van Pelt. Van Pelt dribbling in the back court. He's fouled by Freed. A minute and 32 seconds left to play in this ball game. That's the third foul on Freed. And Van Pelt will be on the free throw line shooting the one and one. 
56 to 55. Wheatland leading by one. This place is really buzzing. Van Pelt's free throw is good. Makes it 57 to 55. Van Pelt will now shoot the bonus shot. <laughs> Second one is up, and it's in there, and it's 58-55, Wheatland leading by three. Bob Rader moves to the front court, goes down the right of the circle, gives off to Freed, to Bob Rader. Rader uh, to Freed, Freed a jump shot, is missed, comes off the board, and taken by Bob Rader. Almost loses it, but gets Delmer Dow. Dow to Bob Rader, shoots from the left side, hit! And it's a 58-57 ball game. Wheatland leading by one. A bounce pass to uh, Bodecker in the backcourt. Bodecker to Mowry. Mowry moves the offensive zone. Holds up there. Still holds it. Gets the pass to uh, Van Pelt. Van Pelt has the ball knocked on his hand, but a foul is called on Freed in doing so. 55 seconds left to play. It is Wheatland 58 and Calumet 57. And Gary Van Pelt is on the free throw line for some very, a very important free throw. Number 33, Dan Dow. Dan Dow, number 33, replacing Freed in the County Met lineup. Van Pelt stands behind that free throw line and shooting his free throws. He's got it, and it's 59 to 57. Wheatland leading by two. Ready for the bonus shot with 55 seconds left to play. Second free throw is up. It is no good. Taken off the board by Dow. Falls down. And uh, wait a minute. We have an official's timeout. It looks like Dow sprained an ankle as he came down on the floor there. Delmer Dow. Looks like he may have sprained an ankle. And we have an official's timeout to check the injury with 50. 51 seconds left to play in the ball game. It is Wheatland 59 and Calumet 57. All right, ready to go. Bob Rader off the right side to Dow to Odom. Drives in for a shot, shoots and misses. Comes off the board, is taken by Mowry, and he is tied up and it's going to be a jump ball. 42 seconds left to play. Jumping uh, Freed and Mowry on the uh, Calumet free throw line. Tipped over and uh, goes out of bounds. Let's see what they do with it. It'll be given to Cody Met. Darrell Rader to Bob Rader. Off the right side to Dan Dow. To Darrell Rader. A jump shot by Rader. It's good. And the ball game ball tied up. 59 59. Van Pelt calls timeout for Wheatland. We have 24 seconds left to play in this ball game. And it's all tied up. 59 to 59. Van Pelt to Witte. 16 seconds left to try and keep you posted here. Witte to Peterson. Jump shoots him in front and hits him. And it's 61 to 59 with six seconds left to play in the ball game. Holy cow, what a ball game. And this is for the Class B Championship of the 1960 Boys Basketball Tournament. Six seconds left to play. And Calumet will have the ball at midcourt with six seconds left. So there's uh, still time for something to happen. The crowd's really getting a kick out of this ball game. And it should. <laughs> Art Peterson hit on that spinner there from in front of the basket to give Wheatland a two-point margin with six seconds left to play in the ball game. Now the uh, Indians will put the ball in play in the backcourt. Bob Rader to Darrell Rader to Bob Rader. Moving down, three seconds, two seconds to Dell Raider. Jumps up to Dell Raider. No good as the Dell buzzer sound ending the ball game. And look at the Wheatland fans. Cheerleaders out there. <laughs> well, Bob 
Bendick is getting a free ride to the dressing room. <laughs> he tried this year long. <laughs> Of course, after winning the championship, he probably uh, just smiled. Well, that was a thriller to start off the evening with, and uh, we'll probably have another in here before the night is over. The Indians from Calumet lose a close one, 61 to 59. So the new Class B champions, the Wildcats from Wheatland, and the defending champions are this year's runner-up. That's the ball game, 61 to 59, and we'll return to the Boys State High School basketball tournament telecast from the University of Iowa Fieldhouse in Iowa City after this message.